Hey, what's up guys? Ty Hansen, another episode of Eagle Outdoors. I've got a couple really awesome new products uh, that I want to show off to you guys. Uh, they are currently available at the Real Shot right now in Appleton, Wisconsin. I'll post the link in the description of the video uh, just so you guys can go and check these things out. Uh, I truly believe these are a couple baits that will change how you guys fish and what you guys use as far as trailers on your moving baits. Uh, and possibly a couple of your jigs or Texas rigs. Uh, so without, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into these. I'm going to make this video kind of short and sweet for you guys. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to show off is the Nico Winnow 95. It is a three and three quarter inch bait. Uh, I've got white here. I've got a couple other colors that I have been trying out. Uh, everything is just on thawing up here in Wisconsin so haven't got a whole lot of time in with these but from what I can see already they kick incredibly hard they're incredibly soft um, so right out of the package you get five in there they are expensive they're 15 bucks a pack so break these things out biggest thing you're gonna notice right away when you hold one is how is how soft these things are um, you can see how limp they hang right there. I mean, very, very, very soft bait. Incredible action. They're actually kind of heavy. Um, so they've got a very, very wide kicking action with that boot tail there. Uh, of course, you can trim the tail as much as you want to, to kind of tighten the action up if you would like. But incredible action on this bait. Like I said, I just got a pack of the white here. All the packaging is the same on the baits as far as the colors and stuff go. So again, Nico Winnow. And here I've got one rigged up on a Dirty Jigs swim jig. And I got a green pumpkin color on there. Uh, the other cool thing about these is similar to the Z-Man Elastec baits, um, they're pretty much indestructible uh, unless you go and catch some toothy critters on them which uh, I have not experienced yet. I know talking with the guys from Nico, they were saying they were getting something crazy like 100 plus redfish on one of these things. Um, and it was more that the jig was unusable after that rather than the swim bait. Uh, so uh, just absolutely incredible as far as the durability goes again, guys. Stretches goes right back into place. And you can see again how limp that is. The action on these are insane again. That is a green pumpkin one right there. Close up of that. Now, what I can tell you, very, very hard to get these things to slide up uh, all the way onto the jig. But once you do, they stay there. You can see I'm tugging on this thing. It is not moving at all. Once it's on there, it's on there and uh, not coming off. So just uh, another quick example. This is my chatterbait rod. Here's another color. Again, super soft. And they have some interesting color names. I think this one is Eclipse, uh, which has a little bit of orange in the tail. And I have not tried to dye these yet. That's one thing I haven't done yet. But uh, I will um, pull out some JJs on these once I get on the water more and, uh, and test these things out. But I've got that on a jackhammer right there. And with the uh, wire keepers on here, these things are never coming off. So that's another cool color by them. So another idea, throw them on chatterbaits. And then again, here is one other color that I've got, and that is basically a pearl white with a blue core, and I've got that on a lethal weapon. Um, I think this is a version four uh, swim jig, again, but great, great stained water color right there. And again, same thing. You pull that thing, it's not coming down off the hook. You can catch many, many fish back to back on there without having to readjust your plastic. And uh, I'm super excited to run those this year. I think it's going to be a huge difference as far as uh, taking the time to redo your baits. Uh, fishing in the head-to-head -head format. Uh, I plan on doing a couple of them this year. Again, every second is critical. So the less time that I spend uh, changing trailers out, um, the more time I can have fishing and having a bait in the water. So that is going to be super important to me again. Uh, just the... The durability is huge on those. The other one is also from Nico, 
and that is their Nico Craw. If I can grab the plastic out of here, here you go. Um, soft, or the, the, they all come in clamshells, so they're all nice and neat in the packaging here. And this is their Eclipse color again, and uh, just a very realistic, it's got a little bit of orange in the claws, and I have obviously one on the package. I'll show you guys how I rigged this one for early spring here. Right here I've got it on a real light Texas rig um, with a light wire VMC, Let's see if I can get it the picture better there with a light wire VMC hook on there and uh, see if I can get a close up. There you go. There's some detail guys. There's some color. You can see that thing is incredible. Great detail on the bait. The legs move with every single little twitch. You can see again how soft those are. But again, when I grab one of these claws here, it goes right back. I mean, even these little side, these side little, little appendages here, like I'm, I'm pulling that pretty good and they're not ripping. So amazing durability, but yet very, very soft. And the hook um, uh, channel for this is, is perfect. So again, this is a three out light wire VMC hook. And I've got this just kind of exposed right here. So that way the hook just lays right in that channel. It's uh, durable enough and soft enough to where that's gonna, that's gonna pop out of there when you set the hook with this. Um, but yet, um, stout enough to where it's not gonna be uh, exposing the hook uh, every single time you hit a branch or something like that. So um, it's not gonna dig in everything. That hook channel is absolutely perfect and you guys can see uh, right inside there that hook just lays right in there perfectly. So again, little um, 316 ounce tungsten right there, uh, light wire VMC hook, and this is going to be a fantastic bed bait. It's going to be a fantastic jig trailer. Uh, I believe these do float as well, so those claws are going to stand uh, straight up, and it's got little, I mean, just the detail on this thing, again, is, is incredible. Great, great color. I believe they have six colors uh, in each um, body style, so in the winnow and in the craw, uh, I believe there's six colors. Again, I'll link them all in the description below. Feel free to check these out at therealshot.com um, or swing in the store if you guys are local. Awesome new products from Nico, and uh, I cannot wait to go jack some fish when the water gets warmer, guys. Thanks for watching. That'll wrap up this little video for you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the water very, very soon.